hey guys it's Oaks. welcome to the channel and thank you for watching this never-ending episode of chelsea cell today we're gonna focus on the american my own brother todd bolly okay and his propaganda machine is working very very good here in america he is everywhere okay podcast new york journal all kind of financial uh shows he's there explaining you know uh his visions about um english football and all the good stuff good stuff what do you expect him to do he need to sell himself right he need to sell himself to the audience to the chelsea fans everybody around the world and right now it looks like uh, he's uh, leading the race. Let's not uh, kid ourselves. The process for him to take over Chelsea Football Club is going to be easier than other people from, you know, the Middle East that need a long investigation. Okay, so this guy here looks like uh, he's doing good okay what do you expect him to do like i said so he's in public media here okay talking he's on podcast he's talking even to individual journalists you know when somebody like fabrizio romano he hasn't really contacted him but i'm just giving an example the fabrizio romano uh, here in america kind of you know and other journalists even in england are starting picking up that and starting uh changing people's opinions you know brainwashing certain people so i call it as a seduction op uh, operation if that makes sense pr machine is working now and oh my goodness you can tell how chelsea fans are always flip-flopping all the time depending on the popular opinion or depending on big account so you will see the same guy yesterday who said no americans no 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 and then today oh yeah bring him in yeah 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 so social media is about reaction it's about now it's about about getting attention so a lot of kids out there that you can easily manipulate you know you tell them one thing today after one hour you contradict yourself on that same thing and they they keep on believing it in you so this is the world that we are living it's just taking advantage of naive people or uneducated people just to you know for your own good so and i always tell you people the american bias is real if you look at the way christian Pulisic is treated in the chelsea community he got injured oh he's injury prone wow 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 we make theories if somebody let's say a wrist jam so mason mount got injured for the same period of time as Pulisic. people are not going to use the injury against that player but they're gonna use injuries or they're gonna use a poor form toward certain players and other players are going to be you know protected in the same situation if that makes sense so the bias is real all over the world African people can't do this and that. European people are this and that. You know, Asian people are this and that. Always bias in our community, in the world. No exception at all. Dif between different races, between different countries, discrimination everywhere. So American bias when it comes to, oh, they don't spend money. Hello? Arsenal spent more money than Chelsea. Man United spent more money than Chelsea. And Liverpool, to a, a certain extent, almost spend the same amount of money as Chelsea. But people will just make uh, those stories without any evidence, without any context. No proof at all. Just because a popular account on YouTube or, you know, on social media says something, we just jump and start talking nonsense without taking even one minute to double check the fact facts are there but we refuse to see the fact but 
I said that I don't want Americans to take over Chelsea Football Club for other reasons. They don't understand European football. They are coming for profit. And there is nothing wrong by coming for profit. It's not everybody is going to be like Qatar or Abu Dhabi, you know, or Abramovich who are there for prestige. Not everybody is going to have owners like that. The majority of owners are coming to the business to make money, period, okay? And um, that's why I said keep an open mind because we might end up by Americans or the Swiss guy or somebody from Europe somewhere. All we want is probably 50-50. You are making money, but you are investing some money also to Chelsea Football Club. So let me just jump and show you quickly how people can change their opinions in just one second because they've been brainwashed by somebody. And even if that somebody tomorrow changes his mind, flop again, we're going to always follow that person. Let me give you an example of Matt Lowe here. Right? So he said, can Todd, can Todd be Chelsea's savior? wow he's becoming a chelsea savior but he was like the devil like a few days ago he was the devil right a big piece of him written by matlow and this is just one example i'm giving you because matlow is known in the chelsea community okay so breaking record in sport ownership so he's giving all the benefit of having Todd a chelsea football club comparing to what he did here in America. Investment is, uh, in women's sport. So he got even some shares in some women uh, football here in America and prioritizing winning. So for him, this guy is going to uh, prioritize winning instead of winning money for his pocket and um, waiting for his second chance to buy. So you just read the article. I don't want to get there, but I want to just show you. I want to show you how people can change from one minute to another one. LDN account, a big account on social media. Everybody know uh, knows who he is. Very big account in the Chelsea community. Look at him. Positive. Yeah. Let's clap. Look at his account, right? Like few few days ago or few weeks ago. No, no American. No, no, no. You see? Now it's oh, this is positive. Let's go for it. And this is me here saying, uh, Todd, propaganda media machine is working perfectly. Man, man is a genius, okay? <laughs> and I just repeated what I said. He's a genius. He's using uh the media and just to brainwash people and to tell people i'm the good guy i am going to i am coming to win and let's go for it and the reality might not be the same you know it could be something different but at least he's selling himself so look at uh, at the people here so this guy here said this broke with uh, Nick Candy, Jimmy Rubin will be ideal. So he he, pr he gave priority to some, some other people. Uh, yeah, this is a very good question. Rola is asking here, how much did he pay you? <laughs> Matt Lowe, how much did you get to make this article and brainwash people? Um, this guy here say if he is willing to invest and keep Marina and Tuco, then uh, we have a chance. Okay, so very positive. People changing their mind. Marina probably going to be gone and Tuco, I don't know. Um, this guy here, Zach say, have American family who support Dodgers and can't speak more highly of him will be excited to have him. Oh, this guy say he has he has an American family who support Dodgers and yeah yeah so they they talk highly about him because he owns like twenty percent of Dodgers right and and all owns also some shares at LA uh, Lakers but the narrative makes him looks like he's the big guy there or he's the owner he's a co-owner because he put some money on those sport teams right. Uh, 
so if you look at all this here i don't want to waste all your time uh this rizu say because uh because to now he's the most likely to become chelsea owner what that even means so if you read here mm, yeah and we we might have to end with this one every chelsea journalist are doing the pr for different uh potential buyer matlow is doing for swiss grandfather uh kinsella <laughs> niza kinsella is insisting on saudi media group uh interested in football uh yeah yeah ruben brother and other yeah so as you can tell everybody is focusing on a certain group that they want to see or some people probably are getting paid to brainwash certain people so like i said my friend i don't want to take all your time here i just wanted to give you an idea not just because somebody is bringing some sources or telling you something doesn't make it legit we have to wait and see what is um yeah it's a feel good factor people want to feel good that the the problem here here okay if uh it keeps us going okay it makes us feel good is a feel good factor but at the end hmm we don't know what's gonna happen leave your comment and let's keep the conversation going okay